Mr. Donald Liu, we note that you have declared India as the leader of the Indian Ocean in your Indo-Pacific strategy speech. Sabas is a tiger cub. Earlier we see similar wording in American Indo-Pacific documents. However, I think that this is America's own opinion. Because the rest of the countries on the Indo-Pacific border do not consider India as a local leader or country to be prioritized. In this South Asia, Pakistan is a big country in South Asia, and Maldives is a smaller country than this. Does anyone mean India as a local leader as a country to lead South Asia? Ends, no. Pakistan doesn't agree either. Maldives doesn't mean either. SARC was formed by thinking of the equality of sovereignty of these countries. SARC was not formed based on any division like the caste system. But if we consider what kind of country India is for Bangladesh, according to the experience of the last 50 years, it is proved that India does not want any good for Bangladesh at all. Rather, India is a country capable of achieving its interests. How India will be the leader of South Asia? India wants it, even if it causes serious damage to Bangladesh and other neighboring countries. For example, depriving Bangladesh of its fair water rights due to the sharing of river water. Bangladeshi people are shot like animals on the border. Shameless interference in the politics of Bangladesh. Depriving the people of Bangladesh of their freedom of expression and ability to vote impartially and keeping the people of Bangladesh away from true democracy and freedom of expression for the past 20 years. India is involved in many other inhumane incidents and various incidents of non-neighborly, non-friendly behavior as a big neighboring country and behaving as an enemy instead of a friend. And by helping India's Bangladeshi slaves, several political parties, and helping to get Sheikh Hasina as the PM of the Bangladesh government again and again illegally. India does not have good relations with any neighboring countries.